guys! Today I'm reviewing the Ninja Mega Kitchen System. The Ninja has a 1500 watt or 2 horsepower motor. Comes with a 72 ounce pitcher, 64 ounce bowl for the food processor, and two single serve cups. They hold 16 ounces each. There are two lids for the cups. There is a six blade assembly for the pitcher, a four blade assembly for the food processor, and a dough blade for the food processor. The single serve blade goes with the two cups. The Mega Kitchen System also comes with an instruction manual, a quick start guide, an inspiration guide with some recipes. It also comes with a larger book with recipes for soups, sides, entrees, and smoothies. There's a suction lever lock that secures the suction feet to the counter. This keeps the base from jumping around on the counter when you're using it. To use the pitcher, place it on the base with the handle just to the right of the lock. Turn clockwise. You hear that click, you know the pitcher is locked into the base. Place the six blade assembly in the center. Place the cover on top, matching the arrow on the cover to the arrow on the handle. Push the handle down. That click means the lid is locked. To remove the lid, press the release button and pull the lid straight up. There is also a pour spout on the lid. There are three different speeds, one for dough, two for blending, and three for crushing. There's also the single serve button when you're using the single serve cup. There's a power button and a pulse button. Be very careful as the blades are really sharp. I'll test the Ninja by using the pitcher, the food processor bowl, and the single serve cups. First, we'll crush some ice. I have ice from two regular ice cube trays that I had in my freezer. Put the lid on. Lock it. Turn the power button on and it should be solid red. If it's flashing, that means something is wrong and you won't be able to run the machine. I'm gonna use the crush button. As you can see, in a few seconds, the ice has been turned to snow. Next, I'll blend vegetables in the pitcher. Cover the blender, lock it, turn the power on. Always pulse a few times to get the ingredients going first. Always remove the blade first. There's our nutrient-rich vegetable juice. You can make it as thick or thin as you want by adding more ice or water. I'll taste it. It's really tasty and all the vegetables are broken down. A dash of hot sauce adds good flavor to the juice. Next, I'll make mango sorbet with the food processor. The food processor attaches to the base the same way as the pitcher. You put the handle to the right of the lock and turn it clockwise. That click means the food processor is attached to the base. I'll be using the four blade assembly. I'm going to add two cups of frozen mango chunks, a squeeze of lime juice, and a little bit of sugar. Mask the arrow on the lid to the arrow on the handle. Press down, 
and lock the lid. I'm going to add a little bit of water. After two minutes, we have yummy mango sorbet. Mmm, it's so good. You can see it's really creamy and it looks exactly like mango sorbet. I only added a little bit of water, that's why this is nice and thick. You do have to scrape down the bowl so everything gets incorporated nicely. This is probably one of the best desserts I've ever made in a food processor. Next, I'll make pie dough using the food processor and the dough blade. I've attached the food processor gonna insert my dough blade just go straight down I'm using one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and just a quarter teaspoon of salt and one stick of butter that I've cut up into small cubes make sure your butter is very cold this is exactly how I would make the dough in any food processor put the lid on we'll pulse a few times and use the dough speed After a few pulses, I'm ready to pour in my water. I'll be using about a quarter cup of water. As you can see, the dough came together nicely in under a minute. Next, we'll make a banana chocolate smoothie using the single serve cup. In the cup, I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of almonds and a tablespoon of chocolate chips. I'm gonna put in one medium banana. And about a half a cup of milk. Put the blade on the cup. Match the tabs to the slots. Turn it to lock. I'll use a single serve button. Unlock the cup. I'll taste it. It's really smooth and creamy. You can taste a little bit of chocolate and almonds that are not completely smooth. The pitcher, bowl, and single surf cup are BPA free. The Ninja Mega Kitchen System is aptly named. It comes with lots of different items and they will take a lot of space on your counter. With the Mega Kitchen System, you get a blender, food processor, and a single serve cup. Since the food processor does not come with any attachments for slicing and shredding, you can use it just for chopping vegetables and making dough, not for slicing and shredding vegetables. 
I like the speed and efficiency of the Ninja. It's also very easy to clean. You can clean all the parts with warm soapy water or on the top rack of your dishwasher. Both the pitcher and the food processor bowl are square bottomed, so it's very easy to clean. The Ninja Mega Kitchen system will take care of pretty much all your blending and food processing needs. It's two horsepower, so it's very powerful. It's efficient and easy to clean. For less than $150, it's a pretty good value. The link to the Ninja is in the description below. I hope you found this review useful. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.